What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news. And actually, the other day, I was talking about this because I was saying how dry it was. It was very dry on WWE action figure news and images hadn't been nothing really right. I mean, we've had a few things come through the mail and, you know, reviews and stuff like that. But outside of the all-in London fan fest or action figure reveals from AEW, we had not seen any WWE action figures whatsoever. And I know those are two separate things, but I guess, you know, AEW puts some stuff out there so Mattel said hang on hold my beer Brad I got some stuff as well so now here today man we're gonna dive into it we got a brand new gallery from WWE.com we're gonna dive into it and get all of the essentials out here man diving in first let's start things off with WWE Elite Series 105 should be hitting very very soon here but starting off first we do have a look at Elite 105 Braun Strowman now this figure looks pretty damn good I mean we got a new leg mold going on here he looks very slim I don't know I can't tell still if this is a new torso I want to say no, but I could be wrong about that. Of course, we won't know until we get it in hand, but cloth goods look good. It does have Velcro on the shirt. doesn't really bother me. I mean, you know how damn big that shirt would have to be in order to uh, get this this shirt over this guy with no Velcro over that torso? It'd be borderline impossible. It really would. It would be insanity to try and do that unless it was like a stretchy material, but this Braun Strowman looks really damn good. Really good head sculpt on there. Probably going to play around with some fix-ups on this guy. I look forward to it. Pinless legs. Really damn good looking Braun Strowman. Maybe his best figure ever, but we won't know that until we get it in hand. I imagine these should be shipping very soon, but outside of Braun Strowman, Strowman. We also have a look at Elite 105 Dominic Mysterio. Now, this may be a contender for figure of the year just because of the simple fact that it's upgraded, right? Like, everybody crapped on the old Dominic Mysterio, the Elite 89, I do believe it was. His first figure, you know, the skin tone was off and, and everything like that. Really threw the vibes off of the figure. This one looks so much better, man. This is crazy how good this looks. You have a slick back hair. You got all the tattoos. Judgment Day gear. Judgment Day shirt. This figure looks sick as hell. I look forward to this one a hell of a Lot. Probably one of the figures I'm most hyped for. Like when I saw this figure in person, I was like, holy smokes. And you guys know that I used to not even be close to a fan of Dominic Mysterio. I was like, good Jesus, man. Changed the record on this guy. And then bam, he became a heel. Started doing the prison deal. Started doing the Judgment Day deal. And I have really found myself to enjoy Dominic Mysterio. Not really enjoying him in the ring, but this is an awesome figure. He makes me laugh. I enjoy Dominic Mysterio. So Dominic Mysterio is looking great in Elite 105. We also have a look at Elite 105 Big Papa Pump. Man, look at this Scott Steiner figure, man. We saw it back at SDCC, of course, but seeing it here in these images just captures all the money, man. This looks so damn good. It would have been really cool, I think, if we could have seen a chain mail, like, real chain or, like, smaller chain that would, like, conform to the head and be, like, heavy. You know what I mean? Instead of, like, a plastic or rubber piece. However, it still looks good. The beard, like, dude, the freaking head sculpt with the glasses and the beard and everything like that. The goatee. He looks so damn good, man. This guy looks like a rock star. Uh, gigantic torso. New sculpted arms. New sculpted torso great looking head sculpt this is like a pretty much just money figure man i mean he looks so good i cannot wait to review this figure of course but scott Steiner is the one we've been waiting on forever tights look sweet it, it, this is a beast this is an absolute beast i look forward to this scott steiner i think this one's probably going to be in my top 10 elites of the year won't know until we get it in hand but this is a great figure we also have eo sky here man look at this figure another great women's figure i i love how we have finally you know women's figures have come so far man i, I remember on the channel back in the day man women's figures i used to just want to throw them the hell out in the yard because the, the, the they always had that like slappy hand and a fist that had like no hinge in the wrist they had single jointed arms their shoulders were stiff as hell they had single jointed knees their feet were stiff as hell it was just awful it, it just just dreadful figures just they they have upgraded these figures so damn much and they're they're actually women's figures have become some of my favorite to pose around now i know we want to adjust the basic feet i even asked mattel about it and i understand like their reasoning behind not changing to that but uh they they've come so far they've come so freaking far these figures used to be just dirt water man they they, they really did i could not stand getting women's figures but now i look forward to women's figures because they feel so damn good in the hand and they pose around so well so now uh this eo sky looks immaculate her first figure was a Immaculate as well, but this one looks even better, and I think the upgrade, the hair sculpt, the attire, this one is straight money. Can't wait to have this one in the hand as well. Then we also have Carmelo Hayes. We have the Chase variant in the purple, and we have the regular edition in the red, or maybe is the purple the regular? I don't know. I can't remember which one is which. Uh, in the full group shot of all the figures, which we'll take a look at in a minute, they have the purple version, so maybe it's just the, maybe the purple's the regular version, but nonetheless, this is a sick looking entrance jacket or entrance fur coat robe, whatever the hell you want to say. 
Definitely going to be putting this onto my Seth Rollins of the world and my different figures like that. Can make some really cool fix-ups with that entrance robe. I think we can do a lot there. I mean, the Mattel cloth goods have been absolutely insane lately. You know, with the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins, and we've seen these different things. The cloth goods from Mattel just continue to get better and better. And this Carmelo Hayes looks great. I, I low-key, I think I like the purple gear better than the red, but they're both pretty damn good. I look forward to these. Having some new characters in the line and things of that nature will be sweet. And we finish things off with Johnny Gargano Hero Figs looking A. Look at this head sculpt. It looks like Hero Figs. I don't care what anybody says. It looks like it looks like my man Hero Figs over there. But he also has Johnny Gargano Syndrome. Now, we did address this. We asked Mattel directly to their faces about this. And, uh, you know, they are in the transition, they said, about fixing it. Now, I may have a way to fix that for you guys. And we're going to get into that on surgery. We're going to break that down on how you might possibly be able to fix it. And we'll break all those things down. However, at the time of recording this video, Johnny Gargano has Johnny Gargano syndrome, and we're going to have to do something about it, Brad, because I doubt, that doesn't fly with me. I don't appreciate that. I don't like looking at it. We're going to have to do something about it, but the figure does look good, and it's not my favorite Johnny head sculpt. I think the fan takeover looked better. I think his elite, what was it, the Elite 70, I think it was, Johnny Gargano with like the symbiote Spider-Man style attire. That one was really good as well, even though those are the same head sculpt. I like those head sculpts better than this one currently, but, you know, it is what it is. He just, I don't know, he looks like, like his ears are all, well, I don't know. I, I, I still like the figure a lot. I think it's going to be immaculate when we get it in hand, but at the time of recording this, Johnny Organo Syndrome and the head sculpt are my favorite, but I still look forward to the figure. You know, we'll have to see how that is once we get there, but next up, we do have new basics. Now, these are insane, and we have a few different things to get into, but let's just break them down little by little. You guys know that we do have new articulation on these things, and I want to get into that, man. Gar starting out first, we do have The Rock. This is like the, the I swear to goodness, I swear to, to just every Everything I love. This rock figure has been released so many times. It lit, like the silver rock, you know, logo on the trunks, the regular tattoo, and this head sculpt. How many rock basics have there been? that look very similar to this or have this head sculpt. It's got to be over 10. It's got to be over 10. I mean, I, I think I would put a lot of money on that. This rock figure is very run-of-the-mill. I don't have any just dog in the fight. I do not care about this figure. Throw it out in the yard with the rest of the old women's figures. Next up, we have Bianca Belair. Now, this one can join those figures out in the yard. I just feel like this figure just looks so flat. Now, the gear is okay. I like the pink and the black and everything. Head sculpt kind of lacks detail, honestly. It doesn't even look like true effects to me. I feel like the rest of the head sculpts look Look okay. This one is very flat to me. It lacks dimension. Uh, you know, it's very stiff looking. I, I don't know. I just do not like this. Like the like the braid, like the ponytail coming down, but I feel like this figure just looks very cheap. And I, I saw some people saying that basics look cheaper now. I think it just depends on the basic. I think sometimes you run into that where it's like, damn, these basics look really good. And then sometimes you run into some some aspects where you're like, Jesus, this this looks like a Dollar Tree figure. So, you know, you just gotta find the happy balance there. But next up, we also have a look at Brock Lesnar. Very run of the mill we do have that new royal rumble elite head sculpt here which is what we're seeing on this brock lesnar nothing over the top or insane or anything like that i don't think it's going to move the needle too much but you know it's a it's a it's a brock lesnar it's a brock lesnar that has a new head sculpt we'll have to see when we get it in hand i think that the ultimate edition head sculpt is probably better but it is still cool to see a new head sculpt in there you know things of that nature we also have a look at la knight who is the chase variant we have the red version and then we do have the yellow version after that but i like the way these figures look i like the head sculpt i imagine this is probably going to be the same Elite head sculpt we see on, what, Elite 107 LA Knight, if I'm not mistaken? It may be Elite... I think it's Elite 107. I'd have to double check on that, but the LA Knight figure does look good. Head sculpt looks like like three different actors that I can name off the top of my dome, and I, I don't know. The, the figure doesn't look bad. I'm certainly looking more forward to the Elite, but I think that LA Knight getting a couple figures here is, is pretty good. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about it, but this figure right here, this makes no sense. Look at this Seth Rollins figure, this Seth Rollins suit, man. It looks like, okay, first of all, when we saw this figure in San Diego, this figure did not look like this. It was not this like light, icy blue, invisible visibility cloak looking mother effer I don't know what's going on here with this with this suit here. It's like a light frosty blue. It's got the white shirt and the white tie. It's got the white shoes. I mean, it just looks weird, right? It looks so weird. It's, it looks like he's wearing an ice suit or an invisibility cloak. It's like a freaking, I, I don't know. It's like, you guys remember back in San Diego, this figure was like white and it had like iridescent on it. Now it looks like like ice. It's like he's wearing an ice suit, which I guess it would work in some ways, but it almost looks like he has clear plastic. Like this plastic is see-through. You can even see the wrist peg 
legs in the arms of the figure. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I think the white suit, the iridescent white suit looked way better than this. And the hair like coloration on this, the hair paint job just looks wacky. It just, it doesn't look like, you know, it fades or that it's like highlights. It looks like it's just slopped paint on there which looks a bit odd. I mean, the facial expression and the, you know, the, the likeness is there, but the hair color and then the suit is very weird. It's a very weird looking figure. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. I mean, I, I still like a suited body and I love the new added articulation, but I don't know, man. The, the suit just looks weird. I don't know why they changed it. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, maybe this just didn't come out right or maybe they changed it, but this figure looks see-through and it's very odd looking, but nonetheless, we are moving on into our battle packs. Now, we did see these San Diego Comic Con. We have the Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H. Very unique looking battle pack right here. I like it. I really wish that Austin was an elite. I, I've been begging for an elite of that from, you know, Mattel and Stone Cold. But it does have the Ultimate Edition head sculpt on there. The Triple H has the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. Pretty good looking basics. And, you know, you throw in the new added articulation. Uh, you know, I think I need to get this new, like, basic wave and review these because I think that we gotta know. We gotta know exactly what they're gonna be like and everything like that. We also have a battle pack of Logan Paul and, and Roman Reigns. Decent looking, you know, we've seen this Roman Reigns head sculpt a million times. Logan Paul, his first basic, I do believe. Um, I want to say we have like a street gear Logan Paul. We still haven't seen it yet. Haven't seen a render. Haven't seen anything on that. Maybe that's coming in the next few months or something like that. I have a, I have an inkling that we may see some sort of ringside exclusive Logan Paul, but I'm just throwing shish at the wall. Maybe we'll get a prime bottle in there or something. I don't know. Maybe there's something out there happening. Uh, I'm just putting context clues together to see uh, based on certain things that I've seen and knowledge out there. I have nothing confirmed. I'm just throwing stuff out there. But the last battle pack that we have here is this this ridiculous puppy dog looking AF AJ Styles head sculpt. You guys know that I hate this figure or the elite version of this figure. I hated. Uh, very weird that they threw back right here. This is a random throwback from what, like 2017 or something like that. Maybe it was 2016. But Kevin Owens like the face of America gear, and then it's not even the face of America gear. It's just that gimmick when he's battling the U.S. title with AJ Styles. I always hated this like AJ Styles head sculpt. So seeing this here, I just don't like this man. I do not like this easy pass right here. But he does come with a U.S. title that has AJ Styles name on the nameplate. So I think that's something worth looking at. He also got to see some top talents basics. Now, this is Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, and Drew McIntyre. Now, the Randy Orton figure looks pretty good. I like this gear here. I would have liked this gear much more on the Ultimate Edition, like some sort of glowing gear instead of just black on black, even though I do love that Randy Orton Ultimate Edition. Solid looking head sculpt. I like Randy Orton. You guys know, but uh, you guys, they're showing off the new articulation. These basics should be way better, man. They don't look as stiff. They look very fluent. I think this is going to be much better for like desktop posing. You want a $10 Cody Rhodes, throw it on your desk, throw it on somewhere to just move around. I've, I have a feeling that people are going to really enjoy these basics, man. Really groundbreaking stuff here with the new articulation on the basics. We have a Cody Rhodes here in the gray attire. It looks much better than his first go around. They did give him like the newer style head sculpt instead of the Elite 32 repaint that we saw back on that other, you know, basic when he first returned. And then we do have Drew McIntyre, which is pretty much like his top talent Elite, his Elite 89, all those different figures just in basic form. So I don't know how well this figure is going to do, but if, you know, you're walking down the aisle, little Sally Sue, you see the Drew McIntyre, you want the Drew McIntyre, you haven't seen the Elite 89 and those other figures, you're going to grab this. You're going to grab this. It can move better, uh, you know, live better, Walmart, stuff like that. Should look pretty good, but that is the top talents, uh, you know, basic figures. Nothing crazy, you know, but not going to set the world on fire, but we do have, a, you know, some different top talents figures here, and they look okay. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the new basics. I want to see how they feel in hand and all those different things, but next up, we also have a look at the, the re-release Ultimate Editions. Now, I actually saw these on a toy hunt, so seeing these in this photo gallery and me already seeing these at my stores before they reach this photo gallery is kind of crazy but we do have like the pinless updates here they really need to do a new austin man like this figure could be so much better i look forward to the next ultimate edition stone cold i think they need to go back to the drawing board new torso new arms new legs like just completely revamp it i feel like he was way too skinny and they could make this figure so much damn better. So hopefully we'll see a really good Austin Ultimate in the future there. Because, I mean, he's the, probably arguably the most popular superstar of all time outside of maybe Hulk Hogan, John Cena, The Rock. You know, those are those are the names that you put up there. He needs, you know, his figures need to be perfect. So there, there's that. And then the Ultimate Warrior, they updated the torso to the newer torso. Butterfly joints, pinless joints. I know a lot of people are excited about that. Certainly better. I should have probably bought this the other day when I saw it, but... 
because I think this torso works, works so much better than the first Ultimate Warrior. Uh, this actually makes it much better, to be honest with you. But moving on, we also have a look at the Top Talents Elites. Now, we did see this, and we asked Mattel about this directly. We do have the new waves here. We have a re-release of Elite 103 Roman Reigns. Nothing crazy, you know, but the figure, this photography right here looks so damn clean, man. The saturation of the colors, it looks really clean. Roman Reigns looks good. We also have Elite 95 John Cena in this wave. Really good figure. That was a figure that I, I've bought every time I see it, so maybe if I see this again, I definitely will be purchasing. And then we also have Seth freaking Rollins in the Dusty Rhodes Hell in a Cell versus Cody Rhodes. You know, the bruised peck or torn peck action figure match here. With Seth Rollins in the Dusty Rhodes gear. Looks really good. I, I think it looks better in figure form than it did in real life. I wasn't the biggest fan of the gear in real life, but I did like the troll job. I like the shirt. I like the head sculpt. That may be one that I purchase every time, too. Having those white kick pad molds right there, like in the newer, you know, the newer mold in white is going to be huge for fix-ups and stuff. And then just having a really, you know, really basic Rollins Elite here to customize is sweet. So I do look forward to that. Uh, another figure we haven't seen, man, we haven't seen the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. Where the hell has that figure been? But... The next figure that we have, guys, is going to be the new Legends figures. Now, these are really interesting because we have new in-package figure images for you guys. Starting off first, we do have Hulk Hogan here in the white gear. This is a very throwback figure here, but look at the figure in the packaging, man. You have a mix of the old and the new. Very modern take, but also remaining that classic look. I love the way this looks, man. They retain the old fonts on the series number, the Hulk Hogan like nameplate, the WWE Legends logo looking there, the classicness. This is sick as hell. I really enjoy this packaging a lot. This looks awesome just so much better than the new modern packaging. The new modern packaging looks like kind of like knockoff figures. I do not like the new packaging. I remember the first time I saw it, I said I didn't know how to feel about it just yet because I had mixed feelings about it. And I think I have settled on the heel that I do not like it. But this packaging right here looks immaculate. I love the Hulk Hogan figure. I already know people are going to be torso swapping this, making an all-white American-made style Hulk Hogan. There's going to be lots of fix-ups coming our way with this figure, but it still looks great. Love the tan, love the cloth cape. This is sweet. This is a great figure. We also have Andre the Giant here with the WrestleMania 2 shirt. He is the chase in the set. You have the yellow with the yellow boots with the knee pads. And then we also have the red version. Now, both of these look really damn good. These look great. Really like this. Getting two more Andres. Kind of crazy how many damn Andre figures we have, man. When you really look at it, I mean, this guy almost has a damn ranking video, which is pretty much deserved, right? I mean, Andre the Giant, just a freaking giant in every sense of the word. Pun intended, so that is great. Doesn't even fit in the effing packaging, man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy up at the packaging, man. I mean, he is shoved up in there. Look at him, man. He's cramped up in there. He don't fit in that Buick. But I like both of these. I like both of these versions. Definitely going to be grabbing both of these. Now, this is probably my favorite figure in the set is going to be the Iron Sheik. I love Iron Sheik. Rest in peace to the legend. This guy looks immaculate here. Love the boots. Love the attire. Love the head sculpt. It's kind of a, a redo of the Retro Fest, right? It's pretty much that figure, but it looks so good. I love the entrance gear. I know a lot of people we're going to put that on a Messiah Rollins. You could put that on some other people as well. This Iron Sheik looks crazy good, man. He fits so well in the packaging, like just the coloration and stuff. This is great. I love Iron Sheik, and I love this figure. This is good stuff right here. We also have, rounding out our set, we have Jimmy Hart. Now, I love a good Jimmy Hart, man. Love his airbrush suits. They look so good. I like this WCW version here with the Hulk on the back. This is so good, man. I love the reuse here. Like, we've seen, I think this is our third Jimmy Hart, if I'm not mistaken, and this one looks really, really good. I like the airbrush like I said the tie looks good everything looks good here and you know I love suited figures and having this is gonna move around great see like how come he looks so damn good in a suit like you see how slim he looks and how good he looks in suit why can't we get that across the board we need a more like muscular like guy like Finn Balor I've said this so many times man I've been saying this for like five years on the channel we need slim body suited figure is what we need man just need it man but he comes with the megaphone he's looking good there with Jimmy Hart and the last thing that we have here is a very interesting set it's like this three and one top talents basic set you have John Cena the Rock and Roman Reigns and all three of these are in promo gear which is pretty cool I actually like this set a lot now there's another damn rock figure but he does have the updated tattoo it is a painted on like you know like muscle T or whatever and then you have the we the ones Roman Reigns and they didn't give him the fade but uh, I don't think this is a new head sculpt but they did change it slightly and I like this figure mid on car it just look I mean it kind of looks a bit knockoffy like kind of like Dollar General style or it's just like really plain Jane but it's a pretty cool set. I like this set. I think it looks good. If these were elites, this would be pretty damn cool. I like it a lot. I wish it was elites. If this was elites, oh my god, you could make it so damn good. I don't know how well it would sell, but I like how you have all the logos on there. 
And I like this Roman Reigns figure. This is pretty cool, man. I, I enjoyed this little three-pack. Even though I probably won't be buying it, it's it's still pretty cool. I like it. But last but not least, I think this is the last thing we have here, is going to be the Wreck and Slam Cycle, the new updated Wreck and Slam Cycle. I actually really like this. We have the Undertaker here. He's got the bandana on there. Really cool. I wish I had the, the new basic articulation on it. But this is a really badass bike. I love the chain that it comes with, like a little biker chain right here. I can see people putting that with their Undertaker Elites. Uh, really sweet motorcycle. I like the first go around, and I like the little art that they have there with AJ Styles and Undertaker fighting on the packaging. I really, really like that as well. So just some classic stuff going on here. I like the back of the packaging too. This is sweet. I, I like this Wreck and Slam cycle. I like the chain the most. I, I think that chain's really, really sweet. And then, you know, we don't have images of the Hulk Hogan, but I'm sure the Hulk Hogan's coming soon. And then the Undertaker head sculpt on this little basic figure looks pretty damn sweet, too. So I look forward to this. I think it's a pretty sweet little deal here. I'll probably grab this if I see this at retail. However, that is everything that we have today, man. We have every single figure. I want to get on here, chop it up, talk about all these figures with you. You guys know I love some damn action figure news, man. I'm, I'm toying with the idea of, of somehow like maybe starting like a weekly like mini podcast or something like that man where I don't know if it would be me in front of the camera or if it would be me and my brother or if it would just be me talking news or just like once a week having like a 45 minute thing where we would like have certain segments in the show and we would just break down some different stuff if we you know we'd talk news in there we would revamp some stuff things that I wanted to see or I don't know. I know I've toyed with the idea for a couple of years now, but it's just getting to a point where I really want to make that happen. Just to have like a little certain episode like every week to look forward to here for everybody on the channel and everything like that. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap it up. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But I want to know what you think about these figures down in the comment section below. Also, leave me all your thoughts, man. I'm getting out of here. That is going to wrap this video up. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. Those guys are the absolute beasts. And if we had a podcast, the, the patron members would get some other perks and stuff like that about the podcast. Probably a day, you know, early release or something like that. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys later. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you later.